right, before we start this video, I want to say that the um, the first seven minutes of the video is going to be me using the uh, the Angela search without commentary. Um, I did this uh, so I can focus on it to show you uh, that it does indeed work. Then uh, after seven minutes, the commentary uh, picks back in. Then I'll try to explain how this this thing works. All right.
Alright guys, uh, a rather interesting episode here today. Uh, some of you uh, probably know how to, know how to uh, do this trick really well by now. And some of you don't. Uh, Angelo Search. Uh, remember what I said back there in my uh, Final Fantasy 12 LP? That in role playing games, uh, nothing is random. Well, apparently uh, Final Fantasy 8 is no exception. It just takes, it takes a lot of computer geeks to uh, crack the RNG of these games. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those geeks. <laughs> but it's really cool, though. <laughs> anyway, uh, apparently you can uh, manipulate the uh, Angelo search in this game. Uh, there are also ways to uh, manipulate things like Gilgamesh, Phoenix, and so on and so forth. And with that said, I'm pretty sure there's a way to manipulate which finisher Squall gets. So... Hopefully someday somebody will find out a way to get Lionheart anytime you want to, but we'll deal with that later. For now, let's deal with the Angelo search. Uh, before we uh, get the show started, uh, there's a few things I want to say. First of all, um, I need to thank Dark Lord of the Seeds for uh, this uh, for his uh, great guide on Game Facts on uh, how to manipulate this. Uh, go to Game Facts to learn exactly how to do this. It's just too it's just too complicated for for me to explain it. You're gonna have to read it. And uh, learn it yourself. I'll uh, show you a demonstration of it right now. Uh, once you watch this and you read the guide, then maybe you'll figure out how to do it. Uh, of course, uh, if you don't want to do it this way, you can easily just leave it on overnight, but that might be bad for your system. And the second place I want to thank is uh, I want to thank Ash 10 for showing us this uh, this uh, easy way to actually do this in battle, where, where you won't have to worry about dying or anything like that. Okay, okay my recording device fucked up. Sorry about that. Anyways, I was saying, uh, what's going on here is uh, every 13 seconds in battle, the game checks to see uh, if the right number if if the right number of checks has come by. It's really really difficult to explain. Um, you're gonna have to find out like what role you're on and stuff like that. I told you, I I'm really not good at explaining things. I can just read it and figure out how to do it, but I I'm, I'm really not good at explaining stuff like this. This is uh, Ash Tan's method about uh, making this a lot easier to do. You just fight these little bastards here, hit them with a demon spell, so you won't have to worry about killing them. When they go to their little defensive mode, you hit them with a confused spell. And he's not in defensive mode just yet. Now, when you do this, uh, you're going to have to find out which role you're on. Like I said, it's really confusing to explain, so you got to read the guide to understand exactly what I'm talking about. Once you find out what role you're on, then you can actually uh, 
manipulate this. Depending on which row you're on, this could take anywhere from 13 seconds to 20 minutes. So I'll just edit in when I get Angelo to come out here. Hopefully it won't take too long. It's um, it's gonna seem a little silly. If, oh, here, here, here we go, here we go. Okay, he, he's already out. Now let me find out exactly where I am here, and I've got like 10 seconds to, to figure this out. My item is a curse spike. That means I am on row six. Okay, so okay, uh, here I gotta wait a total of nine minutes because uh, it 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 took me a while to figure out exactly where I was. Which uh, which column and uh, which row I was on. So now I see it. Now I gotta wait a total of nine minutes, and I see when Angelo comes back out. It's gonna take a little time and patience, but it's well worth it once you learn how to use this thing. Cause you can get some pretty uh, some pretty rare items this uh, method if you're patient enough. Anyway, while I'm waiting on those nine minutes, I guess I go ahead and explain. Anyway, uh, what's, what's going on here is um. The Angelo search there are there are a total of nine rows on the Angelo search. Each different row has a certain amount of time that has to pass by in order for Angelo to uh, to come back out. The first row is uh, according to the guide. The first row is is uh, after 53 seconds. The second row is after seven minutes and seven seconds. The third row is after 19 minutes. The, the fourth row is after seven minutes. The fifth row is after four minutes. The sixth row is after nine minutes, then it's thirteen seconds, then it's four minutes, and then the final row is one minute and seven seconds. Uh, if you if you um, if you create checks, the right number of checks on that row before that time is up, within thirteen seconds, then Angelo will might come out after thirteen seconds. It's kind of hard to explain. You, you're just gonna have to read the guide and figure out how to do it yourself. Now it's really it's really easy to mess this up unfortunately and like I said I'm not really good at explaining this as you can see but I can at least show you how to do it and then you can uh, read the guide and figure out how to do it I gotta wait a total of uh, seven minutes here because I messed up once that seven minutes is up I gotta press this button 86 times that's gonna be hard to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. That was a sleeping powder, right? This means I'm on. I was. I'm on row three now. All right, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. One two three four five six seven eight nine twenty. One two three four five six seven eight nine thirty. One two. All right. Finish down. Now I gotta press it nineteen more times. He'll be out in about ten more seconds. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. One two three four five six seven eight nine. Okay. Now I gotta press it forty one more times, and my item is a a G potion, which means my next item is gonna be either a tent, a circlet, or a potion, a curse spike, or a holy stone. Remember those. All right, forty one times. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. One two three four five six seven eight nine twenty. One two three four five six seven eight nine thirty. One two three four five six seven eight nine forty one. All right. Now the next one is kind of tricky. It's only thirteen more seconds anyway, so curse bite. So I'm not gonna press it at all this time. My next item is gonna be either a protest stone, dragon fan potion, dragon scroll, adamantine, or G mega potion. And he'll be out in a few seconds. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. One two three four five six seven eight.
Okay, I must have messed up somewhere, so, uh... Oh, there he goes. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Took a little longer than I thought. Alright. And I got a Ruined Armor. Ruined Armor? How do you... Okay, uh, I reset the battle, so, um... I'm gonna try it again. I gotta, I gotta get out of that, out of that 19 minute wait period because that's just too damn long. I don't know if doing this resets it, but right about now, Odin's probably gonna pop up, right? Yeah, yeah, I knew, I, I knew, I knew it. Don't, don't ask me how I knew that was gonna happen. I told you everything, everything happens when it's supposed to. So with that said, I'm pretty sure that there's a way to uh, manipulate squads or Lionheart. But somehow I knew Odin was going to pop up. I, I knew that was going to happen. Now this one is the one that has the 86 uh, clicks. So uh, that was going to be really, really difficult to do. I'll try 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 30. 1, 2, 32. Holy Stone. Okay, where am I? My next one is 19. I got a Holy Stone, so I was on level 3 then. That's why I got a Connors. Okay, I missed my camp. They just refuse to give me the really good stuff. One, two, three, four. Agus Armit, there it is, there it is. I got one, I got one. I got one, man. Yeah, that 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 item is really, really hard to get. That uh another way to get, I think you can and you have to, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two. And you have to fucking, um, steal it from the behemoths over and over again, something like that. You have to steal 50 barriers from behemoths, and 50 barriers makes one, uh, it's one of those uh, armors, and that's that's just way too damn time soon. Especially as behemoths have a massive amount of HP. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3. So basically, once you learn how to how to do this, you can uh, get that dog to come out every every 20 seconds. Just about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2. And that dog can dig some pretty rare items. Oh, five times. One, two, three, four, five. Who the fuck figured this out anyway? How 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 do you guys how can you guys possibly figure this stuff out? I got the hook I got the hook I got it, yes. I can use that to teach another uh Garden Force Devour. But that but I can also turn that hunk good pot into a Rosetta into a Shannon Stone. You can, uh, one, two, three, four. Hungry Cook Pot can be turned to a Shannon Stone, and a Shannon Stone can be turned to a Rosetta Stone. So basically, you can use you can use uh, this uh, method to teach your Garden Force uh, a bit times four without having to do the uh, Dark Matters. This might be uh, another way to do it if you if you already killed an um, Ultimate Weapon. So you, so you can try to look with this. And if you don't get that, then you might get some other stuff in the process, like Status Guard or stuff like that. Finally got that damn uh, hungry cut pot. <laughs> it took me, took a minute, but I finally got it. Uh, the next one is a uh, 86 again. Uh, I'm hoping I, I'm hoping to get a jet engine now so I can give it to uh, Shiva because uh, Shiva's gonna be Sephi's uh, main Aeon. 
Uh, not Aeon, but Garden Force. Oh shit, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 8, I think I fucked up I lost my count. I, I think I fucked up. Oh, no, I did it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. So I picked up some uh, some pretty rare items. I, I've got an Argus, I got an Aegis armor, a uh, Hungry Cook Pot, Jet Engine, a uh, Holy Holy Trial. All I need now is Stats Guard. I'm in there. I have to show the I have to show the full uncut footage of this. I have to make this movie but without editing so you can clearly see that it does indeed work for those of you who are doubters. This this does work. It's not fake. This works. Try and you'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a one. Holy Stone, not bad. Can't be I got a jet engine too. <laughs> I'm gonna give that to Shiva and, and teach his speed uh twenty percent. Well, I didn't get my stats guard, but I, I am kind of tired. Well, m my thumb's kind of tired. But you get the point by now. It definitely works. Uh, you, you can uh, use this method to uh, possibly get a stats guard for those of you who can't stand the card game, <laughs> and you want to get like three or four of those, or maybe even six of them, you know, for, for the whole party. But in all honesty, one's really enough because the only, the only monster, the only monster in this game that you really need a stats guard for is the Malbero. And put it on, and the Doom Tray automatically comes with it. So just just a, 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 equip the Christie. And anytime you encounter the Malbero, just kill it with the Degenerate. That's really the only monster that, that, that you need a stats guard for. You really don't need for anything else. So, so one's enough, and, and Doom Train already has it. Anyway, I'm tired of this, so I'm finna end it. My my thumbs really tired, and I'm actually out of breath. I'm out of breath uh, doing this. But once again, you can simply uh, leave this thing on overnight and do it. Of course, this is bad for the system, but I got a backup plan. I can simply uh, transfer my save file to my PSP version and leave my PSP on overnight and have that do it and I can also uh, leave my PSP on while I'm at work and so on and so forth and come back and claim my items and simply uh, transfer my uh, transfer my file uh, back over to the uh, back over to the uh, PSP version uh, come on now I don't do that oh tools 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 that's right the Shannon Stone is a tool uh, There we go. Turn, there we go, Shanstone. Now I go to GF Ability. And I simply turn that Shanstone into a Rosetta Stone. And there we go again. So, how many Rosetta Stones is that for now? So, that's another way to get Rosetta Stones without actually farming uh, Curse Spikes for those of you who already killed a Meg Weapon. And you're tired of uh, fighting with other monsters. This might be an alternative method. Give it a try, I guess. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm back from work now. Uh, as I said, uh, you, you can simply uh, leave it running and let him come out automatically when he's supposed to. It's going to take a little time, but if you do it overnight while you're at work or whatever, it, it'll, it'll be worth it. Um... Once again, uh, I, I copied my file on my PSP version, and I uh, I took my PSP to work, and I, I left it running in the locker room while I was working, 
working my ass off for the Christmas holidays. Damn, last minute shoppers. Anyway, uh, I got two hero trials. Uh, I got I got a status guard. Yes, I I looked up. I said, Oh, I got a status guard. <laughs> I picked up five more jet engines. Look at that. Uh, I already have five of these. Uh, I got one more. I got three heroes, and I got a moon curtain. And I got a few more curse spice and magic scroll. Of course, I I got some more potions and cat stones and rune armors and little stuff like that. I, I got this other stuff, but these are the ones that I uh, that I really cared about. I put them in front so I can uh, you know make the movie a lot faster. I also picked up four more energy crystals. That's good. I can I, I can make a potion with that. Not that I need to do that, but you know getting these off screen. Why not? Why not actually playing the game? I mean, no reason not to do that. <laughs> So I got a few more small things like steel orbs here and uh, phoenix downs, of course. You know stuff like uh, I don't know, like hot potion plus. You know, sadly, uh, you, you're gonna find yourself picking up a lot of potions, unfortunately. But circles too. That's 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 okay. But if you if you keep trying and leave it on the night, eventually you'll. Uh, You'll uh, wake wake up and find a status guard or a jet engine or two or maybe even a, um, a hungry cook pot, a moon curtain for auto share stuff like that. In a way, uh, this movie wasn't originally planned, uh, but I just thought I'd try it out, and I was surprised how how effective it can be. So, in a way, we'll see you guys later. Take it easy.